find one. Uh, at the beginning we rented it, but uh, this place here in the Renault is actually, uh, my cousin knows the owner, so we got us a really good car. One of the things they do here, um, they take care of everything pretty much. You basically come in, you find the car, you're happy with the car, you buy it, and they take, they take care of pretty much inspection, uh, anything that needs to, to, that you need to do for the car in order to then drive it out of here, they do it. You don't have to do anything. They also do insurance, which we, uh, actually a very good deal. I think the insurance is costing us 170 euros for the whole year. I mean, it's incredible compared to Canadian rates. So uh, it's, good. it's great to go to a place where it has a lot of reputation. They also obviously have a service center here. And they just, uh, you don't have to worry about any problem at all, bring it back. You actually get a guarantee even with used cars for one year. Really happy for the, the whole process, which is just, very easy. Completed. We have the car, Volkswagen Golf, 2004, only 90,000 kilometers. We paid 3,700 euros. We're about to drive off here. We just did the insurance. And oh, the only last thing we need to do is to take it to a notary, which we know. And I don't know how much it cost, maybe 20, 30 euros, and change the name. And we have 30 days to do that. So let's go. showed you the inside of the car so we thought it would be beneficial to tell you exactly how to buy a car here in Portugal yeah so it's a pretty simple process actually I didn't uh, realize how simple it was so first we're going to tell you the four things you need to have okay in order to buy a car here in Portugal Portuguese address you need to have that that's number one number two a fiscal number okay that's called NIF as in Frank NIF number it's like a fiscal tax number you need to have that and the third and you also need identification so driver's license passport and a method of payment exactly that's it and see here you cannot buy anything unless you have this NIF number so a house a car you need to have it and also to open up a bank account you need to have this number it's very important it's a great experience from the beginning till the end uh, we looked around we recommended that Renault this guy Carlos the owner my cousin Louis recommended him. He, um, they had a, quite a few cars there. We liked this one. Actually, it was the first one we saw. Then we went to see other ones, other dealerships, other cars. We always came back to this one. It was, uh, we liked the color. Laurel really liked the color. Yeah. And it's 90,000 kilometers it had, which is low. Okay, 2004. Great condition. Um, there was full inspection done by Renault. Uh, they pretty much did everything. We didn't have to do anything except change the ownership. My advice is to go to a reputable dealership. Uh, I know you can buy cars online here, um, like private sellers. Um, but, you know, just for the process, yeah. the warranty. And so we do definitely recommend going through a, a dealership like Renault. Like Renault. Yeah. We've been driving the car now for at least, what, a month and a half. It's running very well. We're very So happy. we thought this would be helpful for anyone thinking of buying a car here. That's... Uh, yeah, that's, so that's why we thought we'd share this video with you. It's a short video this time. Send us a comment, subscribe, like, share. Uh, we appreciate it if you would do that. Yes, uh, and also hit the bell, hit because the bell. if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification on our when we are posting our next video. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.